Kennedy. Oh, I got that. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. I like that. I like that. YouTube, we're here. Muscle memory in Nashville, Tennessee. This is a tag team match play. I'm here with Teddy Long. How are you? Hey, man, I'm very good, Malcolm. I'm so proud to be right here on Muscle Memory. This was a great show. I've heard a lot about it, and I've just been waiting on the opportunity to be a part of it. And thank you so much for having me, Blair. Oh, my gosh, thank you. We're here right now. The thing was right behind us, SummerSlam. What's what? your thoughts on the card this year? Well, SummerSlam is going to be a great show. You know, I've always you know, admired WWE, and they always bring good to entertainment. WrestleMania, SummerSlam, Money in the Bank, you know, Raw, oh, yeah. Battle, uh, Raw Rumble, whatever it is, yeah. man, you name it. So, Nashville is on fire, but it ain't going to be as hot as me and you on this YouTube channel. Ain't nothing going to top us. For sure, for sure. And, and if anybody try to do something about it, then it'll be one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker. Oh, my gosh, The Undertaker. Where did that line come from? I mean, that's such an iconic line. It's like, well, we're going one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker. Well, I, and this is really the truth. You know, one time I was uh, sitting down and we was talking to Vince, and Vince wasn't really talking to me. He was talking to somebody else, and they went out and they introduced somebody. Well, Vince stopped them, and he said, no, no, I want you when you have to make my stars mean something. So when you introduce them, you know, give me some sad, you know, like that. And I heard that, and that's all I did. I just went and gave that bit, but the Undertaker and Vince liked it. So, yeah, that's I brought that came that came from me. That's amazing, that's amazing. And what's your thoughts recently on Vince Man's retirement from the WWE? That, like, was the biggest news story of, like, professional wrestling in the last, like, years. Well, the thing about that, you know, Vince has been there a real long time, man, and he's very creative, man, very smart. You know, I hope the company does survive without him because, I mean, Vince was the rock right there. He kept everything together, and, uh, you know, he's going to be missed. That's all I can say. He's the reason that I'm where I am today. You know, he really took care of my career, and that's all I owe it to is that nobody but Vince McMahon. Oh, for sure, for sure. And, like, he created, like, this, like, community of people that, like, so many people can make friends and make money in this business. Who are some of, like, your closest friends in the business right now? Well, the people that I'm with now is uh, Rodney Mack. Uh, I do some stuff out in Texas. I, I'm the vice president. I'm the executive vice president of TSW, Texas Style Wrestling. So I'm with Rodney Mack. I remember me and him back in the day at the White Boy Challenge, and uh, we did that. I'm with uh, Jazz. Um, God, man, I just, uh, Ron Simmons, uh, I'll be at uh, Star, uh, what's the Mars, Starcast? Yeah, Starcast. Starcast, I'll be there tomorrow with me and Ron Simmons, we'll be at the table together. So I got a lot of friends right now, man, I just don't hang with a lot of people, because I'm, I'm so glad to be at home and just kind of work on my own now. I'm semi-retired, and I'm just having a ball. I'm in the gym training, and I just got a puppy, yeah. and so I'm, I'm just having a ball, man. You got a puppy? What kind of puppy? Uh, I got a puppy, he's uh, mixed with uh, Pitbull and German Shepherd. So I like that. Yeah, man, and his name is Rufus. Red nose, blue nose. Oh man, I got a picture, but he's okay. got the dog face like a German Shepherd. That's the look he's got. Okay, I got right. you. I got right. you. So you, you say you're training. I like I like the sound of that. Here in Muscle Memory Below, talking about working out. What's the bench press looking like, Teddy? Well, my bench press is not too good because I, I, I tore both my rotor cuff earlier when I trained with Butch Reed and Ron Simmons. Back then, I was lifting a lot of weight, just being stupid. So what I do now, you know, of course working my chest, I just do chest exercise on the yeah. machines, not the, not the bench and no bench press. But uh, I can do 300 pounds on the abs, and I got it on my phone, and I will show that to you, and I'm going to let you have a copy so you can get it out there. But I can I can have 20 times, 20 reps for 300 pounds. Oh, oh my goodness. And I got proof. I can show it to you. Oh, I, I believe you, man. Like, whoa, 100 pounds. Whoa, I just can't wrap my mind around that. That's, that's insane. That's insane. Right. So you've had so many, like, positions in wrestling. You've been a manager. You've done so many things, referee, etc. What's like the favorite job you had in the business? Well, the favorite job I really had was being general manager of SmackDown. You know, uh, that was a big opportunity for me. And I just wanted to, you know, to show Christmas man that I could pull that off, you know, that I could be the guy. And he gave me the opportunity, but and that's what I did. So just being general manager of SmackDown, I think, was one of the greatest jobs I had. But managing guys, Ron Simmons, Butch Reed, Rodney Mack, Mark Henry, uh, different guys that I've managed over my career, man. Ice Train, you know, I had a great time with everybody, man. I, I enjoyed everything I did. What was your, okay, so I like to call myself Mark Henry Jr. Because I love lifting weights. I'm a power lifter. What's like your funniest Mark Henry story? Uh, well, I didn't really have a funny, well, yeah, I tell you one time, I think it was, uh, one time me and Mark, I, I believe was in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina, and I was in the gym there, Mark come to the gym. So Mark got on the treadmill, you know what I mean, because I used to get on Mark all the time, come on Mark, you going to the gym, when well, Mark would go now, don't get me wrong, he wasn't a, like a gym rat, but Mark would go. So Mark, that morning, Mark finally going, so we get to the gym, so I'm just glad I see Mark do, because I want him to start doing more cardio, you yeah, know, you and stop lifting so much, do some cardio, get that wind up. Yes, sir. He get on there, and I'm so proud seeing him, and the next thing I know, he breaks the cardio machine. 
<laughs> See, Mark Henry just breaks the treadmill. He, he, well, no, it wasn't a treadmill. It was the electrical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He broke that. Oh my! I mean, I guess like the way he's built, like he's a he's a wider fella. I don't so. know, but I, I just thought I I, I, I saw so I'm saying to myself, so this ain't gonna be for Mark Henry. He just ain't gonna work out. Yeah, I mean, maybe maybe do like some calisthenics or something, you know, a little pull ups and whatnot. Yeah, but yeah, but Mark stayed. His Mark would get in the gym. Now he just wasn't a regular person, but he definitely kept himself in shape. Oh yeah, he was a big dude, world's strongest, one of yeah. the greatest of all time. And like in this business so far, there's like a lot of young wrestlers coming up, especially young black wrestlers coming up. What does it take for like a black wrestler to make it in this business? Being someone who's been and involved so much. Well, you know, I you know, I just wouldn't say that this this is just designed for black wrestlers or, or black people, black guys or black girls coming in and try to be wrestlers, you know. But my thing is what I the way I made it in this business is I always keep my ears open and my mouth shut. And I, and I, what I mean about that, you know, don't start coming in trying to tell these people how to run the company. This is not your company, it don't belong to you. So act like that, you know, just sit back and listen and you'll learn a lot. And don't try to know everything. You know, I see a lot of guys do that. Just want to just walk right in the door. Well, I know all this. You don't have to tell me that. Well, if you, if, if you knew all this, why ain't you been here sooner? Right. You know. <laughs> so just keep your mouth shut, keep your ears open, man, and just listen and do what you know. If you get somebody in there that's a good trainer, listen to your trainer and do what he says, and also give it your best, give it 100%, man. And you know, if you're hungry, you're gonna eat. Yes, Just sir. that simple. I like that. We hungry out here. Who are some of your favorite wrestlers right now to watch if you're still watching? Well, I don't watch a whole lot of it now because I stay busy doing a lot of other things now. But, uh, you know, I've, I've always had a good in mind. Roman Reigns, great guy. Okay. You know, I watch him all the time. Uh, Seth Rollins, you know, I like oh, yeah. Seth, uh, man, you know, it's just a lot of, a lot of them there that, uh, like I said, I don't watch it that much, so I really don't know who a lot of guys are right now, because I'm so busy doing other things for myself, but like I said, I get a chance to watch the product every now and then, and like I said, I think the shows are great. Definitely, and like on this show, I like to play a little game called Muscle Memory, so it's word association, I say one thing, and the same person comes to your mind, so when I say Undertaker matches, who comes to, what comes to your mind? Hell in a Cell. Okay, so Mick Foley. Oh, that's a good one, that's a good one. My, when we talk about tag team matches from your era of SmackDown, what was your favorite one? Butch Reed and Ron Simmons against the Road Warriors. Oh man, that's a solid, that's a solid one. Well, it was Butch Reed and Ron against the Road Warriors, but the Road Warriors, the only one was Animal, the other guy was Undertaker, didn't then City Vicious, they quit on us, and so we had to get a replacement, and, they, and, and Undertaker was meeting Mark Callis at the time, so he came in and tagged up with uh, Animal and uh, Brother, what it was, it was a big deal then. But you're an absolute legend. Yeah. And as we like start to wrap this up, I want to talk about that ring on your finger, the Hall of Fame. Can you see it? Can you see? Ooh, I like that. I like that. When did you get the call that you were going into the Hall of Fame? Uh, maybe a week before, like before it happened. Uh, Vince gave me a call and uh, talked to him and me and him. We joked and started laughing about it. So I was really excited and really, really surprised because. You know, something like the Hall of Fame, I never thought I'd even go there. I thought that was just for wrestlers, you know, people that have abused their bodies and wrestled every night, you know, and, and got in the ring even though they were injured, you know, still got out and performed. So people like that I know deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. Not that none of that didn't happen to me, but I did put a lot of my body on my wear and tear from traveling for over 20 years. You know, uh, lack of sleep, going to bed at 5 o'clock in the morning, right back up at 10 o'clock trying to get in the gym to get a workout in so I can relieve some stress. Cause when I get the TV, I know it's stressful, but you step into another whole world there. So you gotta always be ready. So, you know, but um, that, that, that's kind of the way I had it. For sure, for sure. And as we wrap this up, Teddy, I want to talk about the event rap right now. Explain to the people what we're doing. The well, podcast. right now we're live right here in Nashville, Tennessee, and we're at uh, Nashville Underground, and we're right here with a thing that me and my good co-host is Mr. Mac Davis. Y'all know Mac Davis, oh, yeah. uh, the Steel Scorpion. He has a tough competitor in the ring. Well, Mac and I, Mac, what well, Mac really did started. This. Well, hold on, Mac. I'm gonna bring Mac in here now because I don't want to talk and take all the credit here, you know. Let's get the angle. Let's get the angle. Now, I was talking about that we were live here in Nashville, Tennessee, at the Nashville Underground right here. We're in Nashville. You told me we're in Toronto. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to explain this to you about Mac. Mac has been consuming, uh, you know, probably some of that beverage. Alcohol beverage. Okay, well, there's that memory right there. So we're going to get Mac some privileges. Anyway, we're right here with the After Hours. This is our debut show. This is our first one we're doing. We're kicking it off, and we're letting people know if you want to book me and Mac in your town to bring this show, uh, Mac will put it on uh, Facebook and on his page and let everybody know how to get in touch with me, and we'll put it on your deal. Oh, yeah, we will. It'll be right in the description down below. But I want Mac to come in, and Mac can tell us, you know, 
talking about how you started all this. Well, I tell you what, we uh, just had a lot of things going on during COVID, trying to find new ways to entertain people, and a lot of these shows came out of that. Uh, and a lot of shows you see on the IWN network, including me and Teddy, come from those days of being creative and trying to find something to fill that void. Wow, wow, this is amazing. Guys, this, is, this has been great. Take along, Mac Davis. Yo, I'm excited to be here with you guys in Nashville, Tennessee. Selena, we appreciate it. Look, we got well, just before Selena goes, we're we gonna got get Selena in here right oh, yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get Selena in here right quick before she go. Come on Whoa. around here. You come in here. We're still here, live, Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, man, we're live. Selena Del Rento. How are you? This is great. This is just amazing. Hi. How are you? I don't know you, but can I give you a hug? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, hey, we're live right here on YouTube. Oh, oh what's up, guys? Yeah. So we Whoa. wanted to bring everybody in and let them know that you're right here with us in Nashville, Tennessee at the Nashville Underground. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to come and see Selena, get an autograph picture. Might even get a hug if the money's right. But anyway, exactly. come on out. <laughs> <laughs> this has been great. Right, Most of memory, Most of memory, Malcolm, Teddy Long. Larry Bell. Let's get Larry Bell in here. Oh, yeah, come on. Bring everyone in. All right. Teddy, all right. This is amazing. All right, we got Larry Dwayne Bell here, ladies and gentlemen. He's the president of IWN, the network, and Larry's doing a great thing hey, here. He's responsible for us being here in Nashville tonight at the Nashville Underground. Also, we got a big show coming up on October 29th, Thomas and Georgia. We're going to be right there for a big Halloween show. And brother, Larry. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Right. Nashville is packed full of wrestling fans, man. You look, SummerSlam brought them out. IW in here with Kenny Long getting to be a part of it. I'm so excited, man. It's going to be a good night. All right. Well, there you have it, Larry Bell. Now, man, you done talked to me enough now. Yeah, I did. I did. I need to get out of here. I don't want to go one-on-one. -on -one. Undertaker. Now. Well, that will happen to you. It might, if that don't happen, it might be a tag team match. Oh, man. All right. Well, this was Teddy Long. I'm Muscle Man Malcolm. I'm scared of the Undertaker. Sub squeeze. Holla, holla, holla. I love it. Can we do like a thumbnail picture? You just gotta like pose really quick. What now? Like a thumbnail picture. You just have like pose. Like it's just like a picture. We'll screen grab it and then I'll be like the picture that people see. I don't know. What you want me to do? Anything. <laughs> okay, can, can, can uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get down. I'll get, all right, all right. Let's get the dance. Let's, let's do the dance, man. All right. Oh, well, shoot. Yeah. Was, this is the greatest moment of my life. All right, let's do it. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Up there. This is great. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right, we got it right here, Blair. Holla, holla, holla. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. We going up like a thousand. I'm a flesh, it's like a muscle man, Malcolm. Uh, we going up like a thousand. I'm a flesh, it's like a muscle man, Malcolm. Uh, when did you like one, two, three? If you like the channel, this will squeeze. If you like the channel, this will squeeze. If you like the channel, this will squeeze.